In the last lecture, we had set up concurrently an NPM package that would allow us to run both the client side server and the server side server together in one terminal. In this lecture, I want to start setting up our route for our signup component. And to do that, I'm going to open up the file server.js for the back end. And I'm going to create a middleware here. And the starting, the, the endpoint for this is all this here. But what I want here is for now is I just want this first portion API auth. And I want to paste that right in here. So because this is a middleware, the moment that Express receives a request is going to is going to run all these middlewares here. And it's going to check if the beginning portion here of this re incoming post request starts with this API auth if it matches with this here. And since it's going to be a match, it will execute this next function or argument over here and we're going to call it auth routes. Auth routes will will be a file that will contain all of our routes relative to uh, auth, such as sign up and sign in. Okay, we will create that folder right in here in the main root directory. Let me open a new terminal window here. We make a directory called routes, and within this directory. I'm going to call it auth.js. Okay, close this terminal window up here. So we have our routes here. And I'm going to bring in express require express. And inside a variable here, we're going to do express. Express has a function called router. Select this and we store that into a variable called router. And we also have to export that module exports router. In our first route, for our first route, we took the beginning portion here, API auth, right? But here, the client side, the endpoint we're trying to hit is we still have this portion here that's missing. So that's where I'm going to copy copy this portion for slash sign up. And inside the routes, I'm going to do router, router, and it's a post request, and paste that in here for slash sign up. So again, Express will find a, a match here, API auth, and so it would execute this here, auth routes. And we have to import that here, const auth routes, and require inside the routes, direct, routes directory, and then auth. And then it will go into this file here, which is auth routes right here. And then we are checking for the sign up. And at, it, at this point, we have for a second argument, we're going to have the request response callback or function handler. And we're going to do a console log inside sign up controller just like this okay so we have everything set up for now let's give that a try so if I go here into my main application to sign up and I press 
let me go open my network tab here. If I press sign up, we see that it's working. Okay, it's hanging over here, but that's because we haven't inside our controller, we have not sent a response back. And so for that reason, it's hanging, okay? So we had set that up, okay? And for this last thing I wanna do here is we have to set a, we have to set up a, uh, when we use Create React app, uh, there, there might be some errors that you might get and the reason why you might not be able to get that connection. So if we made that request like we did here, you might get a network error that says like a status code 404 that it was not able to make that request. In that case, it is likely due to the proxy when you're using Create React App. What we have to do here is go inside the your client and the package.json for your React application and under browser list do a proxy and then set up your do API colon four four local host colon and then 5,000, this is the endpoint or, or for our server. And then save that. And then that should resolve it. That's likely the issue, okay? So for your, again, for your package.json on your client side, set up this right here, proxy and then the local host and the, then the port number. Okay. And again, um, so that's it. This this error here, don't worry about it. That's because the the server eventually, like I said, it was hanging, but because it didn't get a response, because we did not send that response here in a controller, um, that's what that error was. But everything's working here. Uh, and again, let me make that request because remember we were doing a console log here. Uh, Actually, you can see it right here, right? We console logged here, and when we made that request on the front end, we see it outputted here on our backend server uh, console inside Sound of Controller. All right, so that's it for now. See you in the next lecture.